right, guys, we've been raided on the night, the night of day three, or the morning of day three. We brought back a ton of stuff. Someone tried to rob us, they must have been more scared of us. We managed to fend them off. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. That'll change today. We make a new knife. None of us was wounded. The attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Good show, guys. Way to go. All right, so we got some food. We're pretty good on food. Let's let's head on downstairs. See what we can do. So I only have nine components. I need one more from the trap. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. It's okay. We'll hit the actual abandoned cottage for real tonight. We'll get all the components we need. In the meantime, I want to leave them another knife to defend themselves. So we'll get them both to sleep since they've been up all night. Actually, everybody has. So, here we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and make another knife for them. good. Anything else that we can make that's low cost? Yeah, we need more components. Do a lock pick. I do have that one cabinet that I can get into there, so I think I'll probably make the lock pick since we do have 14 parts. I think that's, I think that's a good play. It all depends on what we get out of that basement cabinet at the abandoned cottage, so we'll see. We'll see if this was a smart play or not. All right, he's starting to get hungry. They're all just hungry at this point, so no need to start feeding them quite yet. Plus, we have these that we can eventually get through once we have more lockpicks. But uh, I kind of want to try it in case there's wood in there, but my experience is there typically isn't something like lumber in those that I've seen so far. I'm not sure. I don't know. All right, so we need more building materials. We got lots of extra little goodies from our uh, foray to the supermarket. 18 degrees Celsius, and the temperature is starting to drop a little bit. At least today it is. And we got somebody here at the door. Maybe we can get some materials that we need here. This is why I've been saving medicine for moments like this. Look what I've brought. All right, he's a traitor. Let's see what he's got. He's got all kinds of stuff, doesn't he? He doesn't have any... Oh, he does have wood. He has parts also. We need components and parts, but I can get all these relatively cheap. I think what I'll do is I'll probably... Hmm. If he had a, I'd really like to see him have a saw blade, but... At this point... What if we can do a one-for-one -one trade? No, so that's not a fair trade? Okay. All right, let's grab all his parts. That's very generous of me. Let's grab all his wood. We won't do try harder. No, uh, he wants that for that much wood. Hmm. That won't, it won't do try harder. So he wants more than that? Man. I don't have a deal. If you give me a. Okay, so I can get a lock pick. Can I get two lock picks? No. Hmm. How about some wood? No. You know what, at this point? I think I'm just going to keep what I have and just wait for tonight to get what I the resources I need. I'm not comfortable trading the medicine for that little. So, see you later, buddy. You can get out of here. Alright, well, get going. Alright. Tired, hungry. So, we're just going to have to wait for these. Oh, there we go. He's hungry. Still tired. Upstairs. 
Bruno likes to take the hole in the floor apparently instead of the ladder like everybody else. So, alright, well we're pretty much done here for the night. We're gonna need, let's see here, components. We're pretty good on parts, I don't think there's many more left at the abandoned cottage anyway, and wood. Those are my big ones, and then any type of food. I think we did leave some food behind there, so we can grab that also. Those are going to be the priorities. Wood, components, and food. Water and sugar will go a long way too. I want to get. I wanted to get to the still and some alcohol for trade. So let's go ahead and end our day. All right, let's make sure we don't go to the supermarket. Actually, We've got two new locations. We got a small apartment building. Let's see here. This old apartment building is owned by an elderly couple and their son. They are still around, somehow managing to fend off looters. They probably have some supplies, like food and meds, but won't be willing to share them with us. We can try to steal or take them by force. Lock picks might come in handy. Oh, really don't want to have to do that. Uh, huge amounts of food, weapons and parts, lots of meds, caution advised. And then the always friendly sniper junction. The city center used to be beautiful with parks, squares, and monuments surrounding by, surrounded by old buildings. Unfortunately, numerous incidents with civilians shot out there earned it the nickname Sniper Junction. We may find valuable things there, but it's very risky. They have lots of food, meds, and parts, and a huge amount of materials. Alright. Well, we're not going to go there. Let's go to the abandoned cottage again. Let's send out Marco. Let's put these two on guard. And uh, I do think they have two knives now, don't they? Yes, they can both have knives. So, let's take this lock pick so we can see what's in that cabinet down in the basement. And uh, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna grab all that too. Try to get uh, Bruno's cigarettes, if possible, too, so he'll at least be slightly more content. Easy to live with a little bit. Alright. Okay, we're gonna have to make some decisions here. I will be using that lockpick shortly for that cabinet. So. I also probably do want to try to grab some food. We're pretty good on food at the moment, though. Water and sugar, this will be our moonshine supply and our food, so... I really don't need the homegrown tobacco or the crappy cigarettes. I know those are... I'd rather have the food. Bruna can just deal. If it comes down to it, he's just going to have to deal with it. More wood, more components can't stack any any more of any of those. Could drop the books. Let's see what's in this real quick here. It's going to take a while for us to dig through this, so I'm filming this one right after I finished episode one, so I'm still, my, my throat's still a little messed up, so I'm going to my, enjoy my coffee here, or my tea, actually. I got that Tezal tea, and it's the refresh flavor, which is like mint tarragon. It's like spearmint, peppermint, and like tarragon. It's just really, really good. Plus it feels really good on a sore throat. So, I might as well do a call for action here at this point. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, you're enjoying this game, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The likes really help because it helps get me uh, ranked higher on search engines, so I can compete with the uh, big boys. Uh, I am definitely not a big boy channel. I'm, uh, I'm a micro channel compared to some of those guys. But the, uh, the more popular I get, uh, 
the more I can justify doing this. And it's sort of like a semi-professional deal. Let's see what we got here. Big bucks. No whammies. Alright. Got some jewelry. Knew it was worth it. Ding. <laughs> a cigarette. I bet you uh, Bruno would love having that, wouldn't he? Um, I think I'm going to sacrifice this for some more wood, actually, and this book. I'd rather have to, uh, f what, four more wood out of that deal. There's some coffee there, too. All right, not, not too bad. I think it was worth a, a lockpick. I think there was lots of resources here, like wooden components, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, okay, and some more parts. Let's get in this door here. This this music right here, this particular song reminds me of Fallout. Like Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. Shady Sands. The Enclave. And CR. Alright, let's get on out of here. We did pretty good. I don't think there's much else for us to have here. Yeah, since there's not going to be anybody here, I'm not worried about making a nice cash pile here. Nice and neat like I was on the last one I tried to do. Been pretty unsuccessful. I think I'll only put like one item there, but at the supermarket. But I think that might be a good habit to get into if I have a spare time. That way we're not having to venture in and dodge bullets or anything like that. Hopefully they didn't get raided again. Two nights in a row would not be good. Let's see here. Hopefully it was a calm night. That night was calm. Good. <laughs> Alright, so we brought back like, some weapons parts. A pistol that was broken right in the slide. Man, never seen that. Seen some pistols get exploded, but never like that. Looks like it was just brittle or something. Okay, uh, let's get these guys to bed. First off. Yeah, they're very hungry, so we're going to have to start making some food here. And, uh... Actually put here. We'll put Marco. No, 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 no. Not you. You, go over here. There we go. I'm not feeling so well. I think I have the shivers, says, uh... Marco. Alright, so we can finally build our trap. It took us a lot of time to j get the components necessary just for one trap, but we're, we made it finally. So I like to put my traps right down here. There we go. The traps are kind of nice because you put one piece of food in, and if you give it a day or so, you don't know how long it's going to take, but it'll return two pieces of food to you. So, you're always going to get your money's worth out of a trap. Ideally, my understanding is two traps is pretty much set you up for living sustainably. Not have to worry about the food at all. Alright, everybody's snoozing. He's working on his little project. Man, did he get done with it? Did he finish it? Okay, he did. There we go. I was wondering where that little icon was. So we got some options of things we can put in there. We can put regular meat in there. Put canned meat. Or we can put fertilizer. I think I'm going to save the fertilizer for the veggie garden later on. Right now I'm just going to use meat to make more meat. So we should get two back in how long? I don't know. When it happens. Alright. What else have we got here for our things? We only have three parts left. We've got seven components. Twelve wood. We really don't have a whole lot of building materials. Everything else we're doing we're doing pretty good on. I would like to build up some security here. Maybe put us up probably a stove, a cooking stove. It's gonna be the first priority. We need just a couple more components so we're good there. We can build, cost a couple of components, cost some wood. Let's go ahead and do that so at least we're a little better protected through the night. I think that's a smart play. 
Let's do that real quick. Uh oh, here comes somebody. Well, I'm in a panic. Hey, I need help. Please open. This game kind of reminds me of Zafaus Diaries in a way with the uh, the cards, the their bios and their moods and things like that. And then uh, it reminds me a little bit of Sheltered Family Comes First, which should be coming out early 2015. Is he tired? He's yeah, both tired. Okay, Bruno, go answer the door. But Sheltered Family Comes First, where you're surviving in an underground vault, basically like a doomsday prepper during an apocalypse. Yeah, let's get him to bed. Thank you for opening the door. Because I guess in that game, the sheltered game, people come up to your vault needing help, families, you know, needing medicine and whatnot. You have to decide whether to help them or not, so there's like moral decision making. Let's have Bruno talk to her. Save people from a collapsed building. Hmm, I haven't seen this one in before. Thank goodness you're here. I shall hit a tenement building or down the street. People are buried beneath the rubble. Please help me pull them out. Every pair of hands is needed. We, we will organize a makeshift hospital for the wounded at my home. I have some beds and medical supplies. Will you help? Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and help. We're going to lose him for the rest of the night, though, until tomorrow morning. But that's okay. This sort of lifts everybody's spirits and keeps their morale up if you try to help these people when you can. And right now, yeah, that's fine. So, these two are just going to sleep, and one of them is just going to have to be on guard. As you can see, we kind of haphazardly boarded up this this big gaping hole in the wall. I still, I still think a determined looter could make it through there. So, and our trap is working. Not much else for us to do. Let's go ahead and uh, fast forward to the end of the day. And I'll feed him tomorrow once I get the stove up and running. Alright, the night. So, let's have him scavenge again. Let's have Pavel on guard. And, um... I think I'll hit the abandoned cottage again. For the remainder of the items there. Let's go to scavenge. I just hope that Pavel, uh, if we do get raided, Pavel can fight off the looters all by himself. Hell, I should have sent Marco to help. He was a former firefighter. It's kind of what he used to do, right? He'd be, all, he'd be getting all nostalgic, rescuing people from collapsed buildings. I like how they left the, uh, the little things, like leaving that door open after it's been cleared out. It's pretty neat. How many components do we have? We got eight, nine, ten. Leave that behind. We'll take the good cigarette. Plenty of herbs, I'm not too worried about that. I'd rather have herbal medicine than actual herbs. Yeah, well, we can come back for that. I really need more wood stuff, so I'm gonna have to start dropping some of these luxury items. Alright, let's drop some of the sugar for now. Drop that one drop of water. Grab some gears. I'll probably drop the shells too. Got plenty of those at home that I'm not doing anything with. Same for that. It looks pretty good so far. I am just getting the cigarette just for just for Bruno, so he'll shut up. Nothing really new there. We could use that as bait or fertilizer for a garden later, but it's not something we need right now. What we really need right now is wood. I think we have wood here. Yeah. 
Okay, and some more components. Perfect. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, let's get on out of here. Marco's back. Bruno should be back too. Man, I can't get over how good that tea is. Tea's out refresh. Here's Bruno, he looks pretty flagged. Pretty good. Alright, what's going on with Bruno here? Hey, we got some food down here. See that trap worked. We got two food waiting for us. We got a whole bunch of food in here. It's a flesh wound, but it hurts. So he's slightly wounded. I think he's very tired, very hungry. Let's go ahead and build our stove real quick. Then we'll have Bruno cook up meals for everybody. We'll get everybody back in good good order. All right, nice. Need to find food. Now I could eat this stuff all raw, but I'm gonna wait. I want Bruno to make a more nutritious meal out of it. Hopefully he doesn't just pass out on me because he's very hungry and very tired. And here's his bio. Are there any animals left in the city? I'm so hungry I'd even eat a rat or a pigeon. Well, buddy, you might get your wish. So, always go down there and check that rat trap for us. Let's see what his bio said. My friends are very hungry. Getting food for them should be my priority. If we shall hit our shelter, we could be in a similar situation to those people. They could count on us. I hope we can count on them. All the shelling, sniper fire, and lack of supplies makes you want to hide away, sit down and cry. But we cannot let them crush our spirit. We have to show them that they can't take away our dignity. It's difficult here, but you know how we did it on our street. Alright, so yeah. We're going to be alright. We just need to... Uh... Here, let's check his bio. What's he saying? We just had to go help our neighbors. They probably would do the same for us. I wish I could help my friends. They look so hungry. We're doing, we're actually doing really good on food. So once this gets done here, let's get Bruno on the uh, on the stove. Get these two guys to sleep here while he works his magic. So you can actually burn components somehow or wood. But we need um for this food. You're going to have to have uh, vegetables and meat, whereas this one is just meat. So I'm going to do that. It requires two sources of fuel, so I'm going to make two of these. These guys take a rest here until the dinner's ready. There we go. Nope. No, 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 no. You go back to bed, Pavel. I wasn't talking to you. How many we can make two of those? Let's do it. Oh, we need to rebate that trap too, don't we? Okay. So we got two meals waiting for us. I'm gonna go ahead and let Bruno have first shot at the meal here. Since he prepared it. And we'll have him go down and restock the rebate the trap here too many sleepless nights he's falling asleep on his feet isn't he there we go it's a good investment um, who's very hungry they're both very hungry, and they both have their issues. Since Marco's going to go out, let's have him go up and get something to eat. While Bruno, since he's dead on his feet, get some sleep. Got a nasty headache. 
There we go. So now he's just hungry. What else have we got here? How are we doing? Wait, we're short on wood again. Pretty decent on components. Not not great. It's short on parts. Mechanical parts. Okay. I want to see if I can maybe board up one another hole. I'm not sure if I can. I don't have enough wood. No. Okay, let's go ahead and build a radio then. So we can at least lift our guys' spirits a little bit with the music. I'm just going to put it right here. Help with the morale a little bit. Plus we'll get some news and we'll find out what the weather's supposed to be in the next couple days. We still have a couple... We still have a couple uh, cabinets in here that we can check once we build some more lockpicks. So... Who knows what we'll find in those. Like Tom Hanks in Castaway, where he he saves that one FedEx package and he decides not to open ever. Most animals have disappeared from the streets. Keep that in mind when buying meat from dubious sources. Some classical music playing. The coming day should still be nice and warm. For sure, in the park. Yeah. Okay. See a poker room is suffering extreme shortages. Even. Of the, even the most vital supplies. If this goes on, people will soon become scavengers scouring the city. Things will be used. Oh, too late. Alright. I like having a radio just because it's nice to listen to also while you're playing the game. And get some sleep. Alright, he should be about ready to wake up at this point. So I'm gonna have him get up. He's probably still. Yeah, he's still sleeping it off. Him go down and get some sleep. Alright, guys. Well, I think I want to go ahead and end episode two here. We'll uh, fast forward to the end of the day. And uh, I'm just going to wait for. Let's see, I'm going to wait for him to wake up. Hey, wait, will we feed everybody? Yeah, everybody's, everybody's fed, right? No, he's very hungry. Let's have him go up and get something to eat real quick. I wonder what he can make for himself. Don't know how good he, it is for him. Let's do one wood. We just need the fuel. Okay, let's do that. We'll do two two fuels, and then we'll be able to cook two meals. Uh, it's coming up on the end of the day anyway. I wonder if I'll get it done in time. We'll see. Oh yeah, he'll get it done in time. We'll get him fed. Everybody's in pretty good shape at this point. And our rat trap is working for us. So let's have him eat. And we're going to be ready for the night. Alright. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end episode 2 here. And we'll see... Uh, what we can do from here. We'll probably go uh, explore somewhere else here. Not sure where we'll go yet. But somewhere with huge amounts of materials. Maybe something like this. Uh, of course you have to steal from them. Not, not too cool on that. The shell school, we might have to go there. Huge amounts of materials. Probably go there. So, episode 3, we'll probably visit the, the busted up, blown up school. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode of This War of Mine.